Okay, now we look at example 10. Given vector A and B in terms of unit vector as A is equal to 2i minus 2j plus k, B is equal to 5i minus 3j plus 3k. Determine the A cross B and the angle between them. Okay, so we have vector A in terms of unit vector here, A and B. And then soalan minta adalah A cross B. Okay, so now first of all kita write down dahulu the equation that we are going to use. The equation yang kita gunakan dalam uh, vector product. Which is the magnitude of A cross B equal to magnitude of A times with magnitude of B sin theta. Di mana theta dekat sini adalah the angle between vector A and B. Okay, so now, according to the information that we are given, we only given vector A and B sahaja. So, in order to find A cross B, A cross B here, we need to have magnitude A, magnitude B, and angle. Okay, magnitude A and B, kita boleh cari menggunakan formula untuk magnitude. But the angle, since we are not given, so we cannot use this equation here. So, apa yang kita boleh buat adalah kita akan gunakan mathematical method which is this one. A cross B is equal to, so since we are given in terms of unit vector, so it's easier for us to use this method. So, we have I, J, K and then just to list the first column, the value for vector A. Ikut, uh, ikut ni lah the, the order So we have 2, negative 2, 1 And the second column is B 5, negative 3 And 3 Okay, so in order to solve this So this is uh, the method that I learned before So you might have another easier method for you So you can use your own method if it's easier Or if you think that is hard So you can follow my method here Okay, before we solve, remember, untuk I, they always positive. Untuk J, negative. K, okay, positive. Okay, so how to solve this one? Kita akan solve um, one by one. Okay, so first of all, letak positive dekat depan. Positive untuk I. And then kita akan tutup I. So we left with this number. So what we do with this number is we um, double... Um, darab silang We darab silang this number So 2 times Negative 2 times with 3 Minus Negative 3 times with 1 And it is I So they always minus This one mesti minus And then next one Negative Letak negative And then kita akan tutup Tutup J So 2 darab 3 1 darab 5 And then this one is for, sorry, for K. Not K, J. Okay, and then last one, positive. Okay, nak muat. So, I put it down here. So, I can tutup this one. So, negative 3 times 2, negative 2 times 5. And this one is for K. So, selesaikan. Tolak tambah macam biasa. Tolak darab apa semua ni. And then you will get negative 3 I minus 1 J plus 4 K. K negative 3 I Minus 1J plus 4K So 1 dekat sini we can just um, Tidak perlu tulis pun tidak apa Just negative 3I J and 4K Okay so this will be the final answer For question A And then question B We want to find the angle between Vector A and B So question B We want to find the angle Okay so since here Okay we already have The cross product a times B And then we can use this equation here So, boleh cari magnitude A, magnitude B Then magnitude of the cross product Ok, 
Okay, so magnitude. So this one is just the cross product. Kita tiada magnitude. So we need to find the magnitude first. So magnitude adalah apabila kita ada um, tambah modulus. Okay, so since soalan dia tidak minta kan, kalau kita min, uh, contohnya lah, soalan tu dia minta dia letak modulus. So kalau dia letak modulus, this is not the final answer. Kalau letak modulus, bukan ni lah final answer. So kena cari magnitude dia. How to find it? So it's easy using the same formula untuk magnitude. Negative 3 square plus negative 1 square plus 4 square. So you will get square root of 26. And then we need to find the magnitude for vector A. The same method. So we have 2, negative 2, 1. So 2, negative 2, plus 1 square you will get a square root of 9 and then for b we have 5 negative 3 and 3 5 negative 3 and then 3 so equal to the square root of 43 and then semua ni boleh just masukkan dalam equation dekat sini. This equation here. Okay, let me write that down again. So, A cross B, magnitude dia adalah square root of 26 equal to magnitude of A and then times with magnitude of B and then sine theta so dekat sini you just um, simplify kan calculate macam biasa so you will get the angle is equal to 15 degree ok so nanti kalau tekan calculator just remember you need to tekan shift and then sine so shift sine then kamu akan dapat the final answer Angle is equal to 15 degree. Okay, so that's all for example 10.